Ten years ago, and Rosetta's journey began. The spacecraft set off for a distant rendezvous with Comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko It used a gravitational kick from Mars and three from the Earth, circling the Sun almost four times and travelling over six billion kilometres to reach its destination. Along the way, Rosetta studied asteroid Steins and Lutetia. But the main priority has always been to examine a comet close up, see how it changes as it nears the Sun and attempt the first ever landing. There wasn't enough sunlight to power all but the essentials in deep space, so Rosetta was placed in temporary hibernation in 2011. It spanned just once a minute while facing the Sun, so that the solar panels received as much sunlight as possible. Meanwhile, the internal alarm clock was set for January the 20th, 2014. When the day came, ESA's European Space Operations Centre, ESOC in Germany, listened out for a weak signal from the spacecraft. And after a nail-biting wait, the signal arrived. Within six weeks of the wake-up call, all of Rosetta's 21 onboard instruments had been activated. In May, Rosetta put on the brakes and slowed down for the rendezvous. By the beginning of August, nine thruster burns, including a small test burn in early May, ensured that the relative speed between the comet and the spacecraft had been reduced from 750 metres per second to one metre per second. As Rosetta got closer, its destination became clearer, and it was a surprise for everyone to discover that the comet was shaped like a duck. Rosetta arrived at its destination on August the 6th. Shortly afterwards, it became the first spacecraft to orbit a comet. The world's media gathered at ESA's Paris HQ in September to discover where Rosetta was planning to land. There were four possible sites, and one on the head of the duck-shaped comet, Site J, got the job. While the orbiter instruments are studying 67P, its cameras have produced some incredible images, some from just 10 kilometres away. But now it's time to get even closer and prepare for the first ever landing on a comet. <laughs> 